Okay, Algebra 1, I know that this section 1-6 is going to be review for you because I'm teaching my 7th graders that it right now. Um, order of operations is something that we still need to practice though because sometimes we forget how important that the order of something occurring is. So really quick, I've got our PEMDAS, the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So this would be parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. One thing I need to make sure you guys remember, these two are left to right though. In the problem, multiplication, division, and so are addition and subtraction. Okay, so we're gonna go through and just do a few examples. I put a little bit harder ones in here to give you guys some practice. So the first one, there's no parentheses. Oh man, I spelled that word right, wrong. Parentheses. How embarrassing. Okay, so anyways, we're going to do exponents first. So this would be a negative, it's not in the parentheses. Four times four is 16. I'm the one that likes to rewrite the whole problem. Then I'm gonna do division. So negative 16 plus 24 divided by three is eight. And then we need to multiply before adding negative 16 plus 16. And our final answer is zero. Okay. Next one, the first thing we do is parentheses. So inside my parentheses, I actually have parentheses and a bracket here. So this is 4, 25 minus, 5 minus 2 is 3. And then inside my bracket, I have subtraction and the exponent. So I do the exponent first. 4 times 25 minus 9. Now you got to do what's inside the bracket. 25 minus 9, 16. Then my last step is to take 16 times 4. So I get 64. Okay. Next one inside the parentheses first. 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, then I do what's inside the bracket, negative 20 divided by, and then what comes out of this is a negative 10. And then I get a positive 2. Okay, so they also want you to be able to do this with substitution by putting a value in for x. Same difference, instead of x, I'm putting a 7. You still follow all the rules. So first comes multiplication. 21 minus 7 plus 10. And then subtraction. 21 minus 7 is 14. Plus 10 is 24. Okay, my next one, 24 goes in for x. So 5 squared times 30 minus 24. Um, parentheses first. So it's inside those parentheses. 5 squared times, this would give me 6. Then I do my exponent. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 6, it's like taking a quarter times 6. A quarter times 6 would be 150. Or like a quarter, like money-wise. Okay, my next one, I have 14 plus... 2 squared divided by 4. Exponents first. 14 plus 4 divided by 4. Divide. 
14 plus 1. So I get 15. Your answer? Okay. Other grouping symbols that you guys might run into. Um, for example, this is a division, but you do what's on the top and then what's on the bottom first. So for example, I would do the exponents first. So negative 22 minus 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then on the bottom, 5 minus 3 is 2. I still have to do this. So negative 22, remember add the opposite, gives me a negative 30. And that would end up with a negative 15. So you kind of work across the top and then work across the bottom. You do this, and then division is your last one. Okay, you might see absolute value. Absolute value is kind of like a parentheses. So you do what's inside here first, which would be my squaring. So I still have the absolute value of 10 minus 25. Then you do what's inside here. 10 minus 25 would give you that negative 15. Then you do the absolute value. That'd be positive 15. Positive 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, this is a square root. I know you can't see it perfectly. So a square root, you have to do what's underneath the square root before you can do any other operations. So 50 minus 1 is 49. And you're going to do the square root. Square root kind of comes in where exponents come in. So 3 times the square root of 49 is 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay. So the last little part here is translating from words to math. Um, it says, we just don't have to solve it. We're just going to put it into a numerical or algebraic expression. So 1 half times the difference. So one thing that I practice here is like, one half times the difference. Well, what are we taking the difference of? Of these. So then it's going to be one half times the difference of negative five and three. And that's your answer. The square root of the quotient. So the square root of the quotient. Quotient means division. What are we dividing? We're dividing 12, negative 12 and n. So it's going to be the quotient of negative 12 and n, like that. The product of 6.2 and the sum. The sum of what? 6.2 times the sum of 9.4 and 8. Okay, so I think doing this in words helps a lot. It does for me anyways. The last little thing here, it says Hank Aaron's last season in the major leagues was in 1976. A player's total number of bases can be found using this expression. Singles plus two times the doubles plus three times the triples plus four times the home runs. Use this table to find Hank Aaron's total number of bases from 1976. Singles, doubles, triples, home runs. So this is just like evaluating a big problem. The doubles, he had eight. The tripled, he had zero. And the home runs, he had 10. Order of operations tells us multiplication, then addition. Um, three times zero is zero. Four times 10 is 40. And then I like to group things together. So for example, I'd group those two together because four and six gives me a 10. So this would be 50, 60 plus 40 and I would get 100, and then we're trying total bases. So 100 bases would be the final answer. Okay, so I just encourage you guys to show your work to make sure to do all your steps, use different colors, highlighter, whatever you guys need, whatever is helpful, and I hope that this was helpful. Thanks.